Tonight, police are searching for the gunman who opened fire at a car just off I-95 today, killing a man. It's a troubling trend people in the neighborhood say they're seeing more of. CBS 4's Bobeth Yates joins us live from the scene with the latest from police. Bobeth? Well, Lauren, this scene remains extremely active as police right behind me continue to investigate. Right now, 183rd Street has been shut down for more than six hours as officials try to get a handle on what happened here. We did hear shots earlier in the afternoon, uh, not making much of it because it's not the first time we've, been, we've heard gunshots. But a couple minutes later, we heard the sirens. Unincorporated Miami-Dade resident ZV Silver is referring to the shooting that took place at the intersection of 183rd Street and 6th Avenue. And he's not the only one reacting. I heard the uh, helicopter, okay. and I kept wondering. I looked out my window because I stayed out on the street there, and I kept uh -huh. seeing the car. I said, I'm thinking it's an accident. Right. And I saw him, oh, God, it's a bad accident, 6th uh -huh. Avenue. Black. But it was no accident, and instead, a shooting that took place in broad daylight. We were able to count up to 20 bullet casings. Everything's going crazy now. I'm, you know, this killing is and shooting each other, and it's just happening everywhere now. Officials are calling it a drive-by, as a red BMW was riddled with bullets. One of the victims, a male, was pronounced dead at the scene. A second victim, a female, was transported to the hospital with a gunshot wound to the hand. The incident also caused a portion of 183rd Street between Northeast 6th Avenue and Northeast 8th Avenue to be shut down for hours. And as police investigate, those who live in the area say shootings like this are becoming way too common. It doesn't surprise me because we had one to happen right over in our neighborhood not too long ago. How shot up. It does shock me, but uh, not as shocked as most people would be. Now, officials say that suspected shooter is still on the loose. He's believed to be driving a white sedan, and they're asking anyone with information about this incident to contact them. The number to Crime Stoppers, 305-471-TIPS. Live in Miami Gardens, Bobeth Yates, CBS4 News, tonight.